The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. The crowd joined in and showed its hostility to them, so the magistrates had them stripped and ordered them to be flogged. They were given many lashes and then thrown into prison, and the jailer was told to keep a close watch on them. So, following such instructions, he threw them into the inner prison and fastened their feet in the stocks. In the middle of the night, Paul and Silas were praying and singing God's praises while the other prisoners listened. Suddenly, there was an earthquake that shook the prison to its foundations. All the doors flew open and the chains fell from all the prisoners. When the jailer woke and saw the doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to commit suicide, presuming that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted at the top of his voice, do yourself no harm, we are all here. He called for lights, then rushed in, threw himself trembling at the feet of Paul and Silas, and escorted them out saying, sirs, what must I do to be saved? They told him, become a believer in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved in your household too. Then they preached the word of the Lord to him and to all his household. Late as it was, he took them to wash their wounds and was baptized then and there with all his household. Afterwards, he took them into his house and gave them a meal and the whole household celebrated their conversion to belief in God. In our response, from Psalm 138. I thank you, Yahweh, with all my heart, for you have listened to the cry I uttered. In the presence of angels I sing to you. I bow down before your holy temple. I praise your name for your faithful love and your constancy. Your promises surpass even your fame. You heard me on the day when I called, and you gave new strength to my heart. Though I live surrounded by trouble, you give me life to my enemy's fury. You stretch out your right hand and save me. Yahweh will do all things for me. Yahweh, your faithful love endures forever. Do not abandon what you have made. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said, But now I am going to the one who sent me. Not one of you asks, Where are you going? Yet you are sad at heart because I have told you this. Still, I am telling you the truth. It is for your own good that I am going, because unless I go, the paraclete will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will show the world how wrong it was about sin, and about who was in the right, and about judgment, about sin in that they refused to believe in me, about who was in the right in that I am going to the Father and you will see me no more, about judgment in that the prince of this world is already condemned. The Gospel of the Lord.